Well, it's Sunday morning, just barely. If you know me, you know I don't uh, get up too early on my days off, and this is no exception. I decided uh, I'd better finally get up and get going while I can still say it's morning. And it's just that. It's still morning. Anyway, I've got the kettle on, and I'm going to uh, make up some coffee, some special coffee, but before I talk about the special coffee, uh, let me tell you where I am today uh, and yesterday. I parked up in West Seattle, and more specifically, uh, Alki and Alki Beach. And I don't know if you can pick it up, uh, but there's quite a bit of road noise out there now. Uh, this is a very popular place to hang out in the summertime. And um, I don't always park here because it's so popular that uh, it's always loud with, with road noise. Although last night uh, was pretty quiet, uh, unbelievably quiet. So I slept really well and uh, that's good because haven't haven't been sleeping so great the last couple of nights anyway um, neither here nor there last night I slept really well and uh, took advantage of it thus the uh, the sleeping in this morning but uh, time to get up and get going and I really need some coffee so never mind the road noise this is why I wanted to park here in Alki. So a friend of mine who you might know uh, as Line Screw One uh, was recently in New Zealand and he uh, very nicely he uh, offered to bring me back some New Zealand roasted coffee. So he did and I got that in the mail uh, on, on Wednesday and I've been waiting to uh, to try it out here. So never heard of this this brand before uh, apparently it's a local New Zealand roaster uh, the bag says it is uh, carefully roasted in in Auckland New Zealand and um, apparently Robert Harris was the uh, the founding father of good quality coffee in New Zealand so I am uh, eager to try out this this coffee uh, it seems to have taken a little bit of a rough uh, uh, trip in the mail as you can tell it's it's been a little flattened and uh, it showed up pre-ground oh I guess it was already pre-ground well anyway um, yeah I thought that maybe it just gotten smashed in the mail because you know no friend of mine uh, would send me pre-ground coffee but but no matter uh, let me open this up and um, make a cup mm. Okay, it smells okay. Uh, not a lot of of in-your-face coffee aroma. Mm. But I'm still still holding out high hopes here. So let me um, let me dose out a little bit. I've decided to uh, try to elevate this a bit. So I'm using my fancy uh, Romanian-made, handmade. Uh, ceramic mug. I very rarely use this thing, but I think I think that this Robert Harris uh, calls for a much better uh, better mug on this occasion. Okay, one cup of New Zealand coffee brewed up. And I'm gonna drink this uh, black, no cream, no sugar. I never use sugar in my coffee, but um, figure that'll give me the best taste test here. Um, I guess at this point, all I can say is um, thank you, Mr. Linescrew One, for uh, thinking of me and sending me some New Zealand coffee. That's all I got. Mm. 
So I can give you a little secret. If you are coming into Seattle for the first time or don't know the city very well, and you want to go to Pike Place Market, which is right across the water from West Seattle here. And like I said before, this is uh, specifically Alki or Alki Beach. Parking over there is ridiculously hard. Um, there's one-way streets, there's very little parking to begin with, um, but just navigating is ridiculous. But, uh, but if you can find a parking spot, it will usually cost you 15 to $20 an hour. Now, there, there are some, some that are a little bit cheaper, but, um, but you're going to pay to park over there, and you're going to have to deal with the hustle and bustle and kind of maze of one-way streets that is downtown Seattle. So my secret is... If you want to go to Pike Place, don't park down there. Park here in Alki. You can park right along uh, this little stretch of Alki Beach for free. It doesn't cost you anything. What will cost you a little bit is uh, taking this little water taxi. So the water taxi, I think, is about five bucks each way. Uh, so still, ten dollars is less than parking across the way here and and also dealing with uh with the crazy traffic so that's what i do if i'm going to go to pike place i park here i take the water taxi and it's also a fun little ride to take this little water taxi across the way This is pretty simple to do. They have these self-serve kiosks and you just get your ticket. Obviously I need to buy two tickets. One gets me across, one gets me back. Easy. Sometimes I'm not very observant. This is one of those times. Ferry's not running today. So, I bought two tickets that are good for a couple more months, but can't ride today. So, put the tickets in my backpack and I guess I'll do this another time. Oh well, it's usually the easiest way to get over there. Just not today. Well, that was a slight error on my part to buy those tickets before I kind of looked around and saw that uh, little notice on the side of the uh, the ramp going down to uh, to the boat that the taxi is not running. But eh, big deal. Um, I'll probably be back here soon. Uh, it's not that big of a deal that I bought the tickets because they give you a couple of months to use them. So I'll, I'm sure I'll use them uh, in that time. And it's only what 11 bucks or something like that, whatever it was. Uh, so not not that big of a deal. But um, I was I was a, I mean I'm a little bit bummed out that that if I want to go down to Pike Place, I'm gonna have to drive over there because that's the question now. Do I do I really want to drive down into the belly of the beast? And being that it's midday, it's probably not the best idea, so um, now I'm just going to have to figure out what I want to do. It is lunchtime, and I've only had a half a cup of coffee. So I don't know what I was thinking, uh, thinking about going downtown Seattle just to get mac and cheese. I would have had to fight around traffic and crowds and uh, uh, just all that that it is uh, that Pike Place is since it's such a uh, since it's such a tourist attraction. Um, here I'm in West Seattle. This is where uh, I found the best tacos in the state. So a uh, little bit of luck that I couldn't ride the taxi uh, across the water. 
um, when, you know, I just wasn't thinking about those tacos. They're right here. So I was there about a week and a half ago getting, getting tacos from this place in West Seattle. But anytime I'm in the area, I just can't pass it up. I don't know why it didn't occur to me before. So uh, got some coffee here at my favorite coffee shop um, since they have an outlet here in uh, in West Seattle and then now I'm gonna head over and get tacos yeah I'm not just saying this these are the absolute best tacos I've found in the Pacific Northwest. So I'm happy that I remembered that they were here. This place is well worth it and I was really just a couple miles away. That was seriously, seriously good. I, I, I can't get enough of that place. It's just absolutely incredible. And it's easy to find because it's just north of the Fauntleroy uh, ferry terminal. So uh, it's usually a little bit busy around uh, ferry loading times because people stop in and grab either lunch or dinner and then jump on the ferry. But um, the service is really fast. The food is always excellent. And I just can't recommend this place enough. So if you're around Seattle, get out to West Seattle because this is the place to get Mexican food. Well, the day is slowly fading away here and I should probably be thinking about making some dinner. But uh, I just thought, before it gets too late, I'm gonna make myself another cup of coffee. Oh, I was just gonna mention that, you know, normally I buy pretty expensive coffee. Uh, this coffee that I'm brewing now is from a local uh, grocery store. It's, it's an upscale grocery store called Metropolitan Market. There's quite a few around the Seattle area, and this one is my favorite. It's still expensive, but it's not nearly as expensive as most of the other stuff I buy. So um, I've been enjoying that. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't mean to be rude to uh, Line Screw One earlier. I do appreciate uh, him thinking about me and sending me the, uh, the New Zealand coffee. But, um, you know, it's not my favorite. Uh, but, uh, you know it's still fun to try different coffees. So never had a coffee from New Zealand before, so that, that was good. I always think it's funny when people presume that since I live in a van, I must be out in nature all the time, out in the country somewhere far away from civilization. Yet, uh, this weekend was all about being in the city. And even though it doesn't really look like it here behind me, uh, this is just outside of the city. Lake Washington is kind of surrounded by city all around. And uh, where I was last night and all weekend really was uh, even more city. And um, yeah, you know, you don't have to be out in nature to have a great weekend and, and enjoy yourself. I think this weekend proves that. Anyway, that's just my little musings here as the sunlight goes down and as I sh really should be hitting the road and thinking about dinner. So as always, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it.